My advice is don't make records, make history. So we don't make records, we're making history. Worldwide Entertainment TV GOAT series of Canadian hip hop songs continues. As Canadian hip hop entered the new millennium, the veterans were seeing a resurgence as a new generation popped up on the scene. After 1992, Michi Mee was the only Canadian rapper to make an appearance on the national pop charts until 1998. But she ranked with a collaboration with alternative rock band Raggedith in 1995 with One Life. Cardinal Official was taking unprecedented moves and taking the Jamaican influence as Michi Mee prior with a classic collaboration with Jane and Finch's Jelly Black. <laughs> success of Northern Touch becoming a top 41 song in 1998 and Maestro finding his groove back with Stick to Your Vision hitting the top 40 chart. It appeared to struggle for exposure in the mainstream since the fall off the early 90s was over. The country also attained its first urban music station called Flow 93.5. Cardinal would become the third Toronto rapper to hit the charts with Bacardi slang. The single was released in Canada in 2000, before being re-released in the U.S. the following year. It became his first single to appear on a Billboard chart, as well as his first top 40 hit as a solo artist in Canada. However, Toronto rappers were now narrating about their experiences and what they were seeing from the street perspective in the troubled area. Rest in peace to all my niggas, man. I see my first murder. My first nigga got killed when I was about 13 years old, man. It was a very long time, man. It's a piece of my nigga, great one, aka Larry, man. I miss you, my nigga. I love you, my nigga. I love you, my nigga. In 1996, the original Ghetto Concept released the single Much Love, which featured past member Infinite. The duo released their self titled debut album Ghetto Concept in 1998 with singles such as Crazy World and Precious Metals that had a remix with Onyx's Sticky Fingers. In 1999, they received gold certification for their single, Too Much. Don't know why, otherwise known as Eternal. Get a Quadro, otherwise known as the Mental Locks up in this piece. 
I'll be the infinite, otherwise known as Dale. Right. Yeah, we just basically got to see all the way across Canada, you know, the different ways people live. Right. And we got to see the difference between Toronto and everywhere else. The group ended up with one of the biggest collaborations in Canadian hip-hop history. The remix for Still Too Much had Maestro, Cardinal, Red One of the Rascals, Ironside, and Snow. The music video got heavy rotation on Canada's television music station, Much Music, as the Canadian hip-hop scene started of the new millennium. As his group was gaining mainstream success, Infinite was also was attaining solo success. Infinite's last appearance with the group was on the single Much Love in 1996, but he dropped singles Gotta Get Mine that earned him a second Juno Award nomination for Best Rap Recording. What was your mindset when you dropped your first project? I had to get mine, you know? That was my first, the first thing that came to mind. I just had to get mine because as a solo artist, my brother, before he passed away, he said he would have put money into my project if I went solo, you know? But not meaning that I should leave the group. He mean, meaning that, you know, if I worked on a solo project, he would have definitely put some money into that, you know what I'm saying? So when he passed away, I said, fuck music, man. You know what I mean? I didn't want to do music no more for a quick second. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to go solo, you know? Yeah. It took a while to get to that phase because I was still in the group, you know? And I came out and just dropped out of that mind. The next year, he released his second single, Take a Look. The music video won Too Much Music Video Awards for Best Rap Video and Best Independent Video. However, the 360 Degrees single that was the EP's title contained one of the best storytelling hip hop songs in Canadian rap history. The single with Black singing the hook is what takes it over the top. The real could relate to these words, the last song. Yeah. Yo, you want to hear a Washington 
Just living in this cold world Walked with a shoddy response for nobody Streetwise, on the street level They try to take yours Try to run your mouth with these ops between your jaws As mentioned in the 1994 to 1998 era of Canadian hip-hop The Smugglers were in the early stages of forming their street style of rap By the beginning of the millennium the Smugglers would break through on the mainstream with their single street rappers and were contrast to their Jane Finch predecessors, the Dream Warriors of the 1989 to 1993 era style of boombastic rap. While the Dream Warriors were applauded for their artistic twist to hip hop, the Canadian mainstream had issues with the street content of the Smugglers. CBC presented the first ever primetime special about hip hop in Canada in 2001 when their award winning broadcast, The National. The documentary would later be featured on popular hip-hop site, World Star Hip-Hop. Their songs, they say, are about the lives they live. Lives filled with violence and death. Their big hope is to wrap their way out before it all catches up with them. Through song and our songs do have an impact on our community. And at one point or another, everybody that's doing things in a particular way, they're going to have to take responsibility for it. But then what you hear in the news report? Look, he's gonna tell you who he is. Tell him who you are. I'm basketball player. What team do you play for? Huh? What team you play for? Raptors. Raptors. The song you voted as the greatest from the years 1999 to 2003 is from the Smugglers. Street rappers would end up paving the way for the real Toronto street rap era that would end up clashing with the mainstream hip-hop scene in Canada in our next segment. Some old gadget. Yo, just a yo, we're rolling with that. 